hello welcome back to my channel my name is Seira today I'll be taking out my knowledge wax braids that I've had them for like two months and a bit more by the way I made a tick I made a reel not a TikTok. I made a reel about that strand you're seeing right there of my hair and it's a joke you should check it out I'll put my Instagram account on the screen and in the description box but I got this in the color brown fading to brown and I decided to open because of how dirty it is look at that it is musty but yeah, anyways decided to open it so this is the garbage bin I'll use, be using and these are the giant scissors I'll be using to cut the hair shorter to make it easier to open because I don't want to be sitting down for hours you know so I'm just gonna trim it a bit make it short so to make the process a whole faster so here it is cut that's how much I cut off and I'm gonna cut more because I need to cut it as short as possible I'm cutting the extensions not my actual hair I'm just cutting the extensions so that it's easier to open I was struggling cutting this because one I'm, I was holding too much hair second of all the scissors sucks and also one of the handle is broken so my hand was in pain but it's okay the pain was temporary and after that it stopped hurting So I finished and now I'm putting it up in a ponytail so that it is organized so when I'm unbraiding it I just have one hair to do at a time or one braid to open at a time instead of having it all down. It just makes things easier and makes the whole process faster. Now let's take a moment to look at my jawline please just wait look at that wow isn't that sharp anyways thank you. Now I'm pulling out one braid see how easy that is pull out one braid and this is the comb I'll be using comb pick the one i'll be using to unopen it so i'm just using it to go through the braids and open it, and then i just pull the braids apart to untwist unravel which makes the process a whole faster a whole lot faster too and now it won't unravel anymore i'm going to use the comb to help me open it all the way to the top Look how easy the extension comes out. I was able to pull it easily and it didn't hurt at all. It was pain free. And look at my natural hair. Hashtag 4C hair. And that white area that is just dust built up and dirt that has accumulated over time. That's why it looks like that. And yeah, my hair, I'm happy. It looks like it grew. Now I'm just going to repeat the process I just did for all the braids I have. And that's basically it I have to do that that's why it takes a lot of time so I'm just trimming this to make it easier because I realized that I can make it shorter without cutting my natural hair so I just do that to make the process way easier like I mentioned and it make things faster too so I'm just gonna keep on doing that for all the single braids until I get every single one
So I finished one whole side. I have no idea how long this took. I didn't time it, but I believe it was like around 32 an hour. I honestly don't know. I wasn't timing at all. But I just tied it up to keep things neat, a bit organized, and now I'm going to do the other side. I thought this was the last braid until my sister came in and told me that I still have one more left at the back of my head but that is why I am kind of smiling and surprised and happy because I am finally done but little did I know I was not done but yeah that is my smile for you I'm sorry it's cringy but just deal with it I'm just putting the hair in the bin and then I decided to show you and the scissors taking it out of the garbage bin and that is all the hair Look at that. It looks pretty... Yeah, I don't know. I'm smelling it because... Okay, I don't know why it smelted, but it didn't smell as bad as I thought it would. It actually smelled pretty decent. Okay, now coming out the knots. As you can see, it is so dirty. Look at this. Like that is all the dust and dirt, that is all the built up right there, all knotted here. And most of them are like that, especially the front ones, but the back ones, as you can see, are not too bad. It's just a bit of dust there, here and there, but the front ones, wow, I'm gonna have to comb all that out. Now, this is how I usually do it, I just comb it out dry, I don't put water at all, unless like I am in serious pain, like if it hurts really bad then I spray water. To ease it out you know make the hair gentle easier to fondle with and stuff like that but if it doesn't hurt bad then I just leave I just comb it out like this and obviously I have to be gentle or my hair is gonna rip all out look at one already ripped out like I barely did anything there's already one right there look how curly it is so I already did one as you can see it looks pretty clean there is no this is before and this is after so as you can see, look at that. This one looks really nice and clean. So I'm gonna sh I'm gonna explain it. So the first thing I do is I take this comb. One, one. I'm gonna go with the with the one with the bigger teeth and comb stuff from the stuff from the top and comb it out. And then as it's easier to comb, I move up. And then once I get to the knot, I use my hand to separate it. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it is not, and when it is not easy, I take this in and just, cause it's bigger, it's really big, so I use it to separate the knot. And I comb out, I comb down to the ends. And it looks like it's pretty, it looks like the knot is pretty separated. So now I'm gonna go in with this one again, done with the smaller teeth. 
this one has a bigger teeth, this one has smaller teeth. I'm gonna go in with this one and then comb the whole section with it. How do you that? As you can see, it gets easier each time. So I'm gonna keep on doing that. I'm gonna keep on doing that until the knot is com the knot is completely dismantled. And then I'm gonna mix up the other one and keep on, keep on combing it until it comes out smooth. Now I'm gonna take in the smaller one so that it gets rid of the knots. And as you can see, it's also coming. It's a bit easier. But you still have to be gentle. There, now two are done. Now I'm just gonna do that to however many braids I have. I don't even know how much there is, but I'm gonna do that to every single one, one by one. Yeah, this is two. And please, if you're someone that is watching this and is thinking that I'm doing this completely wrong, please let me know. Because I feel like, so I'm, so I'm doing it, do you hear that sound? Like, it sounds very dry. Like, I know I said I don't use bottled water, but should I use water? Is that like a good thing? I don't use it when it hurts. Because I'm learning about my hair, even though I like doing hair, I'm still learning. I'm learning as much as I can. I always heard that it's good to use water, but like, I know if I use water, it's gonna shrink, but I don't want shrinkage at the moment. I just wanna comb it all out. So if you're anyone, an expert in hair, or you know much more than I do, please let me know in the comments. I'd like to know because I want to do what's best for my hair. And and if you're watching this, and in the comments you find out that I was doing it wrong, please listen to the comment. Wow, look at that knot. Look how dirty that is. It kind of reminds me of a carpet. You okay, so here it is. I did half and combed it out, and this is the remainder of half, but I am half done. It feels so soft. So I'm gonna tie this up. So half is done, and I have the other half to do, and I am done. I'm so happy. Here is the amount of hair loss that came from this side, just this one side. I don't know if that's a lot, if that's too little. This, this is the amount of dust, basically the accumulated dirt in the knot that is on my Okay, so I am done. I am done. My arms are tired, but not too tired. I am done. This is the other half. This is the amount of hair loss from this half. And this is the other one. So in total, that's the amount of hair loss from my whole head. So here I am with my hair all tied up. Yeah, big forehead gang. You know what they say about people with big foreheads? That they are beautiful. So if you have a big forehead, you are beautiful. If you don't have a big forehead, you are still beautiful. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. Okay, so here I'm just combing it out. Making sure that the hair is easy to comb. 
in case I missed any spots or in case there is still some dust trap that I missed especially in the back because I couldn't see my back so that is what I'm doing I'm basically just combing out my afro it looks really bad right now but trust the process okay I was not trusting the process until I finished it I don't know if you saw that but it is pretty dusty in the middle there and that is what I meant by me not knowing what's in the back you know I can't see only fat eyes at the back of my eye at the back of my head sorry but yeah I'm just combing it all out making sure I get every dirt that I can well every dust This is what I meant by trust the process. Now look at that. What I basically did was just pat down my afro until it was basically a circle as you can see right in front of your eyes. And I just put on yellow earrings because it made my skin pop and it looked really good with the with that with my afro so that is it for the video I hope you enjoyed watching it and don't forget to like subscribe and comment and thanks for watching have a beautiful day